Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Pushir Dholakya and you guys are watching Mature Reactions. I welcome you all on my channel. So today we're going to react to a wildlife sanctuary of India. Today we're going to react to uh, one of the national park of India, which is in Assam, which is called Manas National Park. वैसे तो इंडिया के अंदर बहुत सारे नेशनल पार्क है बहुत सारे ब्यूटीफुल वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी है और बहुत सारे जो है अलग अलग स्टेट्स के अंदर अलग अलग जानवर जो पाए जाते हैं अलग अलग स्पीसीज पाए जाते हैं जो कि आई थिंक बहुत ही रेयर स्पीसीज होते हैं अगर दुनिया की बात करें तो और वो वहीं पर पाए जाते हैं मैं गुजरात से हूँ तो हमारे गुजरात में शेर जो है वो एसेटिक लाइन है विच इज़ हब ए इन इन गुजरात इन एशिया और यू नो आसाम की बात करें काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क जिसके बारे में हम सब ने सुना होगा वो तो अपने वन हॉर्न राइनों के लिए तो फेमस है ही ये मानस नेशनल पार्क है जिसका वीडियो आज हम देखने वाले हैं तो मैंने उसके बारे में सुना नहीं है मानस नेशनल पार्क शायद सुना हो तो मुझे याद भी नहीं पड़ता सो पता नहीं उसकी स्पेशलिटी क्या है उसकी क्या लोकेशन है और क्या वाइल्ड लाइफ है उसकी बट पिनो हमेशा वो चीज़ें देखने का वो एटमोसफियर देखने का बहुत ही मज़ा आता है सो या लेट्स इज द वीडियो फर्स्ट इस वीडियो का जो टाइटल है वो है मानस नेशनल पार्क इन आसाम एक्सप्लोरिंग आसाम थिंग्स टू डू इन आसाम सो एज ए सेट द ओरिजिनल लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड लेट्स सी द वीडियो फर्स्ट एंड विल डिस्कस द वीडियो सो लेट्स डू दैट हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर व्लॉग ऑन माय चैनल सो मेनी ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी नो फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस दैट आई वेंट होम इन दिसंबर इन केस यू हैव नॉट चेकड आउट माय प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट गोइंग होम आई एम गोइंग टू लिंक इट समवेयर ओवर हियर सो मेक श्योर यू गो एंड चेक इट आउट So another place I visited while I was in Guwahati this time was the Manas National Park. So Manas is located in the foothills of Himalayas and is about 140 kilometers from Guwahati. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a tiger reserve and oh, okay. also a rhino reserve. We started from Manas in the morning and we reached there around 2:30 in the afternoon after stopping for lunch and things like that. So what you see in front of you is the gate which is the entrance to the Manas National Park and we are staying at the Bansbari Lodge which is just next to the National Park and this is the view in front of the lodge just tea gardens everywhere wow So after we checked into the room I went to the beautiful view man get a view from fantastic it. and uh, I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And since it was already late afternoon and in winter the sun sets here at around 4:30 p.m. so we decided that we would go out a little and explore before it gets dark. Mhm. Uh -huh. So, uh the guys from the lodge told us that the Beki River is very close from the lodge. And so yeah we decided to go there. Actually the Beki River is not exactly a different river it is a part of the Manas River itself. Uh, it is just okay. known as Beki in this part. And that's my friend and colleague Kiran who was traveling with me this time. She wanted to visit Assam and she came here with me. Uh the river was about 20 to 25 minutes walk away. and a uh, beautiful walkway this is basically a straight walk wow. to the end of this road and uh, this is it. like a jungle you know you are uh, right in middle of jungle and in around 10 minutes after we started walking we spotted this well these are two rhinos basking in the afternoon sun and um i mean I thought it was a really good start to our trip because we didn't even need to go inside the national park wow. to see the rhinos. And uh, for those This who don't know, Assam so close. is famous for the one horned rhinoceros. Yeah. And it is very rare and it is not found in any other part of the world. Oh. After a little more walking, we finally reached the Beki River and this is how it looks. After admiring all of it from afar, we saw few boats nearby, so we decided to take a boat ride across the river. Very peaceful also, place this is. Also by this time it was almost sunset. 
so we even got the chance to view the lovely sunset so this was a very pleasant ride of around 20 to 25 minutes uh, after which we decided to head back to our hotel so that we could take some rest before we go for the much awaited safari the next day Honestly, I've seen so many of my friends and cousins come to this place and click pictures and post them on Facebook and <laughs> I'm so glad that finally I have also managed to come here. Okay, so the next day we went for a safari. So we were uh, completely ready to go for the safari at 6 a.m. in the morning. But uh, before our safari actually started, I wanted to go into the tea gardens. I have been seeing them since the last evening, and um, I definitely wanted. to go into the tea gardens i mean i just couldn't resist after seeing so much green so i had to <laughs> go in and that's what i did and i also clicked a lot of pictures and okay. this was one of the best moments when i could actually see the sun rise through the trees oh it was a very beautiful view i mean just look at it it looks so amazing So a safari was supposed to start from the Bunsbury Lodge itself. Uh, the previous afternoon, when we had got to the Baker River, that was towards the left. Uh, but for the safari, we were supposed to go straight into the Manas Forest, and okay. uh, we basically travelled along uh, the road that you see over here. and it was around a 3 hour jeep ride to this place called Mathanguri and basically uh, the ride would end at the India Bhutan border and okay. i was so excited about the safari so let's just see how it goes and let me show you as well As soon as we entered into the national mm-hmm. park we saw a lot of peacocks just flying around and this was a really uh, interesting thing for us because uh, in Assam peacocks are not as common as they are in some other indian states mm-hmm. so yeah we were really glad that we spotted so many peacocks so they spotted rhino they spotted the peacock uh, i think they are quite lucky Well uh, in the beginning it was mostly grasslands but the forest gets deeper after a while. And look at that we also spotted a beautiful eagle sitting on that tree. Where is it? I <laughs> I don't see. Wow, and this is we a beautiful walkway. Okay. Deeper into the forest and uh, the vegetation over here was much thicker than what it was in the beginning of the safari. Mhm. We came to a clearing at one point of time and this is where this is we spotted two elephants. One was a baby elephant and the other was I think its mother. I tried to zoom in and get a better view but as you can see I was unsuccessful. <laughs> Next we spotted a wild buffalo and the guide gave me its actual name but unfortunately I don't remember it right now. Bison I think so. Bison. But the most interesting part of the safari was when we came across this group of 8 to 10 elephants that had yeah. come out a little uh for I don't know maybe just for a stroll and uh among this group there was this 2 day old baby elephant and I remember I was so obsessed with it I clicked so many pictures and um After this uh, I mean we also saw a lot of birds actually and a few other wild animals as well but I was not able to get a good uh, video recording of those animals and birds so unfortunately I was I am not able to show you right now and just like that our safari came to an end and guys you are going to see now where exactly it ended Yes, 
Look at it. This is where it ended. So is it uh, Doki River? I was or so, it's India, so Bhutan happy when border. I saw this in front of me. That, by the way, is the Manas River. And what you see on the other side of the river is Bhutan. Bhutan, okay. So I went down so to no the border. river and this is how everything looks from below. And uh, I'm, I uh, have kept the... Uh, audio of this particular recording intact because I want all of you to hear the sound of the river and the sound of the wind because uh, otherwise the experience would not be complete. Yeah. And then I wanted to touch the water once because it looks so pristine and I went ahead, dipped my hands into it and of course it was freezing. So I just gave up and came back. <laughs> hey guys, so that is the yeah, so end finally of we our see the vlogger. And this is where we ended. I mean look at it guys, it's so beautiful. Just can't get over how beautiful this place is and what you see over there on the other side of the river is now. So our safari basically ended near the Assam border in India. So if uh, any one of you ever visits Assam, make sure that the wind, water, everything is breathtaking. And the funniest thing is that this is my first visit over here. I've been born and brought up in this place, but I've never really visited. So yeah, this brings me to the end of the safari and the end of the Manas vlog. So if any one of you visits Assam or Northeast India, make sure you come to this place. And if you like today's video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you like my other videos as well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. All right, so that was uh, Manas National Park in Assam. You know, wildlife ki yehi khubsurti hai ki aap kahi ki bhi wildlife sanctuaries dekhe, kahi pe bhi species dekhe, aapko misha maza aata hai, aapko ek you know excitement rehti hai, aap jungle ki wo safari aur wo adventure wo ek alag hi maza rehta hai, kyunki ham log jo hai wo aajkal concrete jungle mein rehte hai, to asli jungle ka jab bhi mahol milta hai, I think wo hamare liye ek one of the lifetime experience ho jata hai. To ye bhi ek bahut hi behtarin video tha. Main kahunga Manas National Park ka hamare I समझ में आया कि कहां पे लोकेटेड है मुझे मालूम नहीं था कि मानस नेशनल पार्क जो है वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट है बाय द यूनेस्को सो दैट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग एंड उसके ऊपर टाइगर रिजर्व भी है वहां पे और वन हॉर्न राइनो यहां पे भी होते हैं वरना मुझे ये था कि काजीरंगा में ही सिर्फ होता है सो दैट्स अ गुड थिंग लेकिन आई विश कि हमें वाइल्ड लाइफ और भी ज्यादा देखने को मिलती हमें थोड़ा सा और एक्सप्लोर करने को मिलता जो जंगल है जो एटमॉस्फेयर है क्योंकि इस तरह की वीडियोस में यू नो हमें एक यू नो छोटी छोटी जगह पे सरप्राइजेस मिल जाते हैं मैं पता नहीं चलता क्योंकि वो वीडियो के शुरू में ही वो लोग कहीं घूमने गए थे और उनको जो है वो वन हॉर्न राइनो इतने सामने से इतने आसानी से मिल गए वरना बिल्कुल सही कहा उन्होंने वीडियो में कि इट इज एन एप्सोड साइट टू वॉच एंड इट टेक्स टाइम टू फाइंड यू नो वन हॉर्न राइनो टाइगर नहीं दिखे लेकिन जो एलिफेंट्स है और दूसरी वाइल्ड लाइफ है वो हमें देखी और उसके बाद जो एंड हुआ वो इंडिया भूटान बॉर्डर के ऊपर एंड हुआ यू नो कोई फेंसिंग नहीं आप सीधा उधर जा सकते इधर जा सकते बीच में सिर्फ नदी बह रही है एंड दैट्स आई थिंक द मेजरली ईस्टर्न साइड बॉर्डर्स आर विथ इंडिया यू नो चाहे वो परमा हो चाहे वो भूटान हो चाहे वो नेपाल हो नेपाल थोड़ा सा इस तरफ आता है बट मैं समझता हूँ इसी तरह के तरीके से यू नो हमारी बॉर्डर जो है वो शेयर होती है इन सभी कंट्रीज के साथ एंड दैट्स वे इट इज़ यू नो लेकिन इंडिया की यहाँ वाइल्ड लाइफ की बात करें वन हॉर्न राइनो वो तो वर्ल्ड फेमस है ही साथ में एलिफेंट्स भी काफ़ी फेमस है इंडिया के क्योंककि वो एक अलग तरह के होते हैं अफ्रीकन एलिफेंट्स से कम होते हैं हाइट पे लेकिन एक अपना ही वो रुतबा रखते हैं अपना ही एक अपनी एक पहचान रखते हैं और उसके अलावा आई थिंक वो जगह ही उतनी खूबसूरत है कि आप पिनो अगर आपको कोई भी स्पीसी ना नजर आए कोई भी वाइल्ड लाइफ ना नजर आए फिर भी आप जो है वो सिर्फ उस एटमोसफियर में अपना पूरा दिन बिता सकते हैं अपनी एक तरह से जो शाम होती है अपनी एक एक्सपीरियंस होता है जो जर्नी का उसको आप यादगार जरूर बना सकते हैं 
सो ये आई थिंक इट वॉज अ फेंटेस्टिक ब्लॉग आखिर में हमें फाइनली व्लॉगर का फेस भी देखने को मिला मैं सोच रहा था कि ये व्लॉग कौन बना रहा है वो भी हमें पता चलना चाहिए एंड फाइनली शी केम अप एंड शी शोड अर फेस एंड वी गेट टू नो हु वॉज द एक्चुअल व्लॉगर व्लॉगर और द वॉइस बिहाइंड द एंटायर वीडियो सो इट वॉज अ ग्रेट वीडियो आई थिंक काफ़ी मज़ा आया आई एम श्योर आपने भी एन्जॉय जरूर किया होगा और इसी तरह का आपके पास भी कोई वीडियो हो तो जरूर मुझे रिकमेंड कीजिएगा इस वीडियो को पसंद किया हो तो लाइक जरूर कीजिएगा और मेरी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा I will see you guys in the next video in the next reaction thank you for your time you guys please take care of yours in your family i will see you again till then bye bye and take care